Welcome to the Architecture Technology Program at Los Angeles Trade Technical College. These are real-time videos to augment our knowledge about our building systems and our building environment. Here we have Guadalupe, and he's going to be going over Autodesk Tutorial, uh, MEP Tutorial 2. Please remember that all these tutorials only work when you have existing data sets that already have been built for you to specifically grow on a specific skill. So he's going to start, and welcome Guadalupe. Okay, we're going to start off right here. You could go up here to your project browser to try to find the tutorial or find the tutorial. Your project browser will then pop up right here on the side. That's not connected. We can continue going. Basically, we have a smart board here at okay. Trade Tech, and the smart board allows all the students to participate and ask questions. So what he just mentioned right now, really quick, you go again to the project browser. And why do you want to go to the project browser? That it was an existing um, project browser that was on our directory that we were able to find it through the project browser search command. And once you find it, here at the bottom, then this brings all the files together. So once you tell the computer that you are using the project browser, then you just close it. It's kind of like it should say okay instead of close, but it says close. So that means that then a project navigator will show up and the project navigator is divided into four tabs, project, constructs, views, and sheets. And right now we're only gonna talk about constructs. And what are constructs basically? That's where your Notice how they're breaking down into architecture, electrical, mechanical, and piping. And basically, that's where you're actually constructing your building. We're going to go on their spaces because we're focusing right now in zoning the building. Please make sure you check on our notes, all the different tutorials, just to learn about what um, air conditioning is and the parts of air conditioning. So now we're going, in the previous tutorial, we learned how to identify the areas of a building to a specific zone. And now let's say that your client added a new space. So this tutorial is to add a space. That's why we're gonna go under construct, architecture, exercises, and open up a pre-existing data set to add a space. And here we gotta close another one, tab open. And here we have, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to begin adding zones. So first we have to go to the two palette right here on the side. And we must make sure it is changed to HVAC. Right now it's on Research Building MEP, so you have to make sure you switch it to HVAC. And what happens there? Your two palettes, all of a sudden you become what? An air conditioning and mechanical engineer. It changes the tabs on the side right here to ducts, fixing equipment so now you go to okay you go to analysis and then you select on zones and now we're gonna add zones you select this one add a zone right here on this rectangle box and add a zone on this one right next to it make sure to hit right here enter or escape to end that command you s now you select that zone again individually and we have to go to properties which is not on here so I have to bring it up the properties okay now we have that here on the side so we're looking at the properties of that space of that zone first because we're going to change the name of that zone. Select that. Here it is. You go to the name and you must change it to basement. Basement zone 01. Enter. And you can see escape or enter. And now it's switched to basement zone 01. And you must do the same to this other zone same process but this one will be 0 to and enter 
this one I don't think it so we must check it again no I didn't I deleted it no what's going on because <laughs> in the previous um, exercise all the areas were already assigned to a name uh, notice how in the first one he had no problem adding to it. So this can be a programming mm -hmm. issue. It could be that that area doesn't allow you to change the properties. Uh, notice how in the previous one, click the previous, uh, so he's doing it again. So let's see if it works. Sometimes that arrow can have options. No, no it is okay, again. Go back, go back to the previous rectangle. So these are some of the things that you gotta back to your blogs, you gotta go back to your research. Notice that one worked out really good. So you basically change your options. To show them how you come back to the options. First, how you change your toolbar before this step. Before this? Yeah, before this step, you went under insert, you went under tools, mm -hmm. and under the tools, you went under properties. Now you have to do a selected, and then you could either, you see how it disappeared now, but you can select it again, and it reappears. And you have your properties right here. Select on the zone, and then of course you could change the name. But I'm not. Sh I don't know why it's giving me problems with the other zone. Let's try it again. So that sometimes you gotta escape, escape. So we're doing exactly the same procedure. It's not happening. It could be that the template only allows you to change two zones. We'll figure it out in our next tutorial. Uh, but at least now you know how you are not only. So let's say you have all the zones, and you need to add another zone. Uh, can you go back to the very first stage? How did you change your interface from architecture to HVAC? We went right here to the properties on the tool palette. Make sure this is the tool palette right here on the bottom. Go to the properties. And then it was originally on research building MEP. So you select HVAC. So stay there for a second. So this button is kind of hidden. There, you guys see where you, he's pushing it. You can change it to this wider. one. Right. So you have the cross, you have the open and close. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So you have properties of the area, and then you have properties of the space, and then you even have properties of a line. So everything is gonna have a description. So think of a database. It has uh, fields to assign it. And uh, so one more time, go to the properties of the toolbars, and then there you can see how you can change your interface to plumbing electrical before it was under a project browser. And this is just, even that the second space didn't work out, hopefully we can hit that challenge under our next tutorial. Stay with us. Thank you.